Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for March 1st through the 7th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see Taurus. <clears throat> All right. Um the overall energy for the reading, the Two of Swords, uh, confusion. Confusion and not being sure what to do, what to feel, what to, what to. Uh, the what to's. All right. Um, in the recent past, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Moon. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm not. I'm, I'm going to try to be as nice as I can in this reading. Uh, it's probably not going to come out like that, and a lot of people are going to be pissed here. But I have to say what I see here in the energies. Um, there's an energy of you kind of bypassing, um, looking within. You know, just being honest with yourself. Let's just start there. Let's just put it like that. Just being honest with how you feel, uh, even if it's crap sometimes, you know, because we go through that where we don't have to feel all the time. Oh, sunshines and rainbows and butterflies. Sometimes it's crap. And a lot of the times we don't want to go there when we have to look at that. But there's a sense in you showing up in that way of, oh, look at me. I'm healing. I'm so, you know, I'm doing my thing here. I'm so aligned with my truth. doesn't show up like that you know it shows you kind of not interested in that energy even though you were putting it out there in the world of course this could be somebody related to you but you would know if this is the truth about things because it's all very masked very behind the curtains in the sense of you not deeply and truly looking at yourself you were the only one that knew that basically all the other world had no clue all the other world around you may have thought oh Taurus is fine they're doing good you know they're look at them role model no I don't know because I see you running away on your part uh from you just being true to yourself you don't have to be a role model for anybody just you know stand in your truth basically and I see, I see you being aware of them, doing that also, you know, trying to escape yourself, basically. Um, in the current situation, you get the Seven of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Page of Cups. Now, this is the clearest kind of energy that I could see in this reading. There's a very powerful soul connection you have with someone where you want for things to work out and you want to open up to the situation and you want to be truthful to this situation it's like if in any other instance you are closing off and you don't want to be even truthful to yourself to this you do it, it, it almost feels like it's forcing you you have no choice uh now i don't know if you're going to do it or not if you are going to open up or not but it shows that you do want to um <clears throat> in the immediate future you get the eight of swords the judgment card the ten of wands there's a decision you, you need to make and that's where the confusion sets in you have no idea what to do about a specific situation. And it feels like the more you stay in this energy of confusion, which is, by the way, self-imposed, you can get yourself out of your own mind, you know, because that's what's creating the confusion here. Um, the more you sit in this energy, the heavier it's going to get for you, the harder it's going to get. Now let's clarify. Let's do the Two of Swords. <clears throat> Mm 
Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands is a strength card. You want to head in a specific situation towards a particular person. Um, and you are, energetically you are. You are because it's it's like if you're thinking about them, if you're, you know, you're creating that movement, energetical movement at least. Uh, physically, I feel like you're just stuck in your own head about it. How do I do it? Should I do it? What if I do it like this and then that happens? But if I do it like that, that happens. And, you know, and that's only going to keep you stuck. It's like the energy is your own energy about it is moving forward and there you are. This energy is going to move forward until, you know, it's going to try to pull you. But you're like, no, 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 because I need to think about things. So then everything stagnates, uh, basically. <clears throat> There's definitely progress energetically towards a situation or a person. Physically, you don't want to move because you're stuck in your head about it. Um, let's see here. Let me see the moon in the recent past. The world, the Queen of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. All right. There was more to the... I feel like a situation has ended for you in the past. And from this situation is where all your troubles began, right? But I don't think the situation actually ended. I feel like it presented itself as an ending. Possibly for you to head towards yourself, you know, for you to, to go into yourself, to go into that path that you kept on wanting to avoid. Um, the situation is not ended. It just showed up like that. There's more to this. Whatever. I, I see uh, an energy of you wanting to build something with some somebody else here. And when that came to an end, you kept on avoiding yourself instead of just... This ending was supposed to send you back to you. And it didn't. It actually made things a little bit worse where you avoided more yourself. Because there could have been more pain attached to you. However, the situation is not showing up truly ended. It's showing up as you feeling it like it's ended. Uh, let me clarify the Seven of Pentacles in the current situation. Five of Pentacles, the Tower of the High Priestess. All right. You're putting up some sort of effort, some sort of you're, you're giving your energy to a situation where your intuition is telling you, stop doing that. This is not, it's done. You're done here. Your business here is done. Go away. And you're like, no, 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 but I want to work on things here. And your intuition is clear about the situation not, uh, no. You know, and the more you go against your intuition, the more this is going to happen. All sorts of things that you're going to feel like, oh my God, I'm so, you know, I have so much bad luck or so. <clears throat> the resistance that you have towards yourself is going to come outside of yourself. And when that happens, you're going to attract that kind of energy of clashing, right? Of bumping heads. And who knows what kind of energies that's going to attract. Something that doesn't fit together, basically. Um, let me see the lovers. <clears throat> nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. All right. Now, the previous situations, situation might have been in regards to work or something else in your life. I don't see necessarily love in there. This could be like a general idea of you giving energies to things, giving your energy to things that just don't serve you anymore. You know, you're done in those situations and you keep on giving. Now, this other situation, this relates to a specific connection, very powerful one that brings you happiness. There's a sense of you wanting for something brand new to begin here. And there's a sense of freedom, of independence, you know, that comes with this connection. Happiness and freedom. Let's clarify the Page of Cups in the current situation. The Judgment card, the Moon, the King of Cups. Interesting, going from the page to the king. 
if you are revealing how you feel in this situation, you're not truly revealing how you feel. You know, there's there's a deeper sense of love that you have for the situation, but again, you're keeping it deep down, like in a place where you can't even reach it um, for some reason. What I do see, the positive thing that I do see here is your acceptance of it. You know, you not running away from how you feel, which is great. You're still hiding a big chunk of it, but you're at least not running in the opposite direction or not going against yourself here. Whether or not you're going to express how you feel, now that's a different story. But this is coming more as a self-acceptance here of your own emotions. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords in the immediate future. King of Swords, Two of Cups, the Hermit. Uh, Taurus, there you go again. Keep on doing this. You're going after love with your mind. You know, there's a there's an assertiveness, there's a which I love. I love that this is here actually. You know, there's there's this determination, like nothing's gonna stop me kind of thing. And I do love the the fact that the hermit is here too for you. It makes sense underneath this whole confusion. If you stick to the king of swords for too long, that's what's gonna get you here. You know? Uh, use your intuition more. Use your self, how you truly feel inside about this that's what's going to lead you there uh to this energy that you want to achieve with somebody to this love the more you sit in here the more you kind of trick yourself no this is how it should be this is you know it's only logical that i stay in this energy of determination of courage of if i don't have this uh, trust me this will give you plenty of courage you know the alignment with how you truly feel um the more you put it into your head more confused you're gonna get let's clarify the judgment in the immediate future the four of pentacles the empress the knight of swords this is you refusing to let go of somebody uh of course this could be only energetically where you're hanging on to somebody somebody's stuck in your heart basically you're not letting this person go. Now it's a matter of you deciding whether or not you should head towards them. And I see you making the decision to do so. You know? Um, <laughs> it's that Knight of Swords again. There's that Swords energy again. But the decision is there on your part. Let's do the Ten of Wands. In the immediate future. Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords, Four of Wands. You might be walking away from a commitment here, which is going to be tough. It presents itself as being tough, a tough energy, but I see you taking the first steps into um, detaching yourself from possibly a marriage, possibly a commitment, which kind of tells me that the Empress situation is a different one. Possibly somebody from your past, possibly somebody new that's going to show up. But this process of you leaving this situation, I feel like it's been going on for quite some time. It's not like, oh, I'm going to leave them because I love you. No. Um, let's see what the universe has. <clears throat> the Magician, the Hermit, the Ten of Swords. All right. There's, from what I gather, there's a, an understanding, a deep understanding on your side um, of your participation into the negative stuff that's happening in your life, the separations, the endings of things. Um, it, it almost feels like a, an acknowledgement, a deep within you kind of an acknowledgement. Now, I don't know if you're running out there telling people, oh, I acknowledge, I screwed up or whatever. Uh, but it's more of a understand, deep understanding on your side, which is actually the first step into healing and into seeing how you contribute to everything that's happening in your life, basically. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.